So what's good, homies? It's your man, Dr. B.O.A. Somebody sent me a video, man, from, you know, Girls Red Table Talk Show. And I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, man. If you listen to any episodes of that show, all the ones that have been shared with me so far, they are really open and honest about everything they feel and everything they think on that show. Now, on a recent episode, they agreed with what I always tell you, man. Now, they won't say this when they're not amongst themselves. See, what you have to understand is when they're doing a the little red table talk thing, you know, women live in a fantasy world. So when they're doing that show, they're in their own little world. It doesn't register with them that everything they're saying will be heard by everyone who tunes into the show. And guys like me who get shared videos, clips from the show. Now, I tell you guys all the time that women do not appreciate your love. They appreciate you believing in their love and therefore reciprocating that. But you don't have to listen to me. We're going to look at it in this clip. Let's take a deep dive on this one. But first, let's elevate to a higher plane. Prepare for takeoff. Now, the truth of the matter is this. When women are amongst friends, female friends, they're gonna be honest about a lot of things. So you could be in a relationship with a woman and have a serious problem going on and she'll say nothing to you, but she'll tell all her friends and cry about it and whine about it and give, give them all of the sordid details of whatever she believes is going on. So on this Red Table Talk episode, you see a group of girls just sitting out talking of all different ages, a couple of different nationalities, and what you'll hear will astound you if you haven't been listening to what I've been saying up to this point. But if you have been listening, then it's just par for the course. And further proof that Dr. B.O.A. has a great understanding of the female psyche. Let's take a listen to this short clip and we'll come back and chop it up about it. Always wait for the ultimate narcissistic love sentence. No one's ever gonna love you oh. the way I love you. That is, that's like wearing a malignant narcissist t-shirt. Like, go, pack your stuff, get out. Like, go to the bathroom during the day and find the window out of the bathroom. Like, you need to get out. Like, no one is going to love you like I do. But yet, some people think that's romantic. I'm in this so many songs love that have story. Yes. There are a lot of songs yes. that are considered love songs, yeah. not psychopathology songs. Right. Like, now, as you can tell in this clip, man, y'all bear with me, man, if the wind is going to be in this shot. It's pretty windy out here, and I don't have a dead cat on my mic. But y'all have to keep in mind, man, that the things that I tell you about women are things that I've seen throughout my life, things that I've witnessed throughout my life. And I've not only witnessed the side that I stand on, I've witnessed the other side, the opposing side, and I've seen the negative results of that side. Now, what you just heard was a doctor, a psychiatric therapist, talk about all of this lovey-dovey stuff that you guys do is viewed by women as narcissism. So when you tell a woman no one will ever love you like I do, not because you're trying to be a narcissist, but because you really believe that it's impossible for anyone to love her more than you do because you love her so much, she looks at that as you being controlling and narcissistic. That's why women push away from that, not because it, you know, it, it turns them off, because they're afraid of it. They think it means you're trying to control them. They know they're not worthy of that level of love from you. So they think there has to be something going on with you in order for you to give them that level of love. And then she goes to quote all the R&B songs and all of these things. See, we understand here in the alpha sphere that all this lovey-dovey stuff and all this romance and all that, man, man, it's a fantasy for women. Once they live the fantasy, they don't value that stuff anymore. That's why every year you got to do Valentine's Day over and over. You got to do anniversary over and over. Tomorrow will come and girl, I can't wait. It's our anniversary. You got to do it over and over again. Why? Because it doesn't matter to her. 
it matters to you. The only thing that matters to her is that you're reciprocating what you perceive to be her love for you. And we've already discussed. Women cannot love you. They can love what you do for them. Now, a lot of guys aren't going to believe this. A lot of guys are going to stand on some idiotic principle that, you know, well, you know, you just you, you've just been through a lot, BOA. You know, you just you don't understand love. There are some great women out here. You know, any guy who ever comes in the comments and says there are some wonderful women out here is a single guy. None of these guys ever make you understand that or even lead you to believe that they know what they're talking about. They're living in the hope fantasy world. And as alpha men, we don't live in that world. I want you men to just understand that what you think women want is not what they want just because it's good. They want it because it gives them proof that you are in it to win it with them. Unfortunately, you're gonna lose. A woman wants proof that you believe the lies of her love. She wants proof that you believe that her infatuation is actually love. Women don't love men. They are infatuated with men. And when the infatuation dies, you as a man tell yourself that she fell out of love with you. No, she fell out of infatuation with you. She was never in love with you. When you're in love with someone, they can change and you'll still love them. Many of you guys fall in love with a woman. She gains 100 pounds. You still love her. You still there with her. She was cooking and cleaning before. She don't do none of that now. You still there with her. She was a wonderful mother. Now she's a neglectful mother. You still there with her. Why? Because you love her. You're in love with her. The moment any little thing changes with you, if you're spending a lot of time with a woman and you need to pick up another job and you pick up another job and now you're not spending that much time with her but she's able to live that quality of life, she doesn't care about the quality of life. She wants everything to stay the same. So it, although she's living a quality of life, you're not spending as much time with her. You know what she does? She justifies going out and cheating with someone else. There are two things that women want from men. They want proof that you believe the lies of their love and they want justification that whatever they did wrong was done at some fault of yours. Stop believing the fantasy that women sell because they don't believe in fantasies. They just enjoy the fun of living in the fantasy world. You enter that fantasy world with her and you actually believe in the fantasy. You actually believe that the fantasy is true you actually believe that what you're giving her is appreciated by her. That's why men are so distraught when divorces take place. It's not because the woman leaves. It's because you thought everything was gravy. It's because you gave a woman everything that you had to give. And what you didn't have to give if she wanted it, you found out a way to get it. What did you get in return for that? Nothing. Abandonment. Disrespect. Lack of appreciation, lack of consideration, lack of understanding, lack of compensation. Why? Not because women are bad. It's because you believe that women are good. They're not good. They're not bad. They just are. It's not meant for you to love or hate a woman. It's meant for you to enjoy her and employ her. That's the bottom line. Now, I know some beta male said, man, Johnny gonna come in and say, well, don't give me away. That's one show and them few women. You think them women come for everybody? You, you, you ain't never heard no other woman say that. Show me some other women saying that, Dr. B.O.A. Oh, it was your, you're always talking that, man. You just don't want men to have hope and falling in love. You don't want men to have hope that love exists, man. You don't want me to have no one man that I want to climb the mountain, swim, sea for, man. You don't want me to have no after seven woman. You don't want me to have no forever my lady, Jody's a woman. Dr. B.O.A., you just a hater. You mad because you ain't got no woman and you don't want nobody else to have one. Unsubscribe. Okay, sucker, unsubscribe. But before you go, let me tell you this. No matter what you do, no matter what you say, the truth is the truth. And the truth is, you can love a woman draws off. You can love her to death, homie. And she'll never reciprocate that to you. Why? Because she can't. She doesn't want to. And the real thing is, she'll find a way to make whatever you do that's positive 
into a negative. They take a man's declarations of love, the Lenny Williams type of love. And I watched TV till the TV went off. And I played my records till I just didn't want to play them no more. And I told my friend, maybe you've never been in love like I've been in love. They don't like it. They don't believe in it. They don't want it. And not only do they not view it as a positive, they view it as a negative. So all these guys that are teaching this lovey-dovey stuff, you got to be vulnerable to the woman. You got to open up to the woman. You got to be this, this romantic lush for a woman. You got to be a guy that wants to be drunk on romance and drunk on love and all of that. Why? When the woman walks away from all of that, what do you have left? Because in your mind, you're giving her everything. But it's like this. If I'm a drug addict and I want to borrow some money from you, and I tell you I'm hungry, and you say, well, come on in, I'll buy you something to eat, I'm going to turn it down because I don't want nothing to eat. I want money so I can buy the drugs. All this romance talk that these guys give just means one thing. They are effeminate, and they work for the enemy of your success. Now, who are you going to listen to? Dr. B.O.A.? who has your best interests at heart and wants to help you become the best version of yourself and develop into the man that God put you here to be? Or you want to listen to the enemies of your success who tell you lies about what you should and shouldn't do? Y'all comment down below and let me know what you think about this topic, man. I look forward to hearing what you men have to say. I'm out.